Hi guys, we all know that how ugly these Windows desktop shortcut arrows in your desktop applications. You can see these little blue arrows are very uh, different and pleasant for the desktop icons. So we can remove these uh, shortcut arrows by using simple desktop registrator. And some users asked how to restore these removed shortcut arrows. We can also look at that uh, scenario in this video. So welcome to my Windows 10 Expert channel. First, we are going to remove this the shortcut arrows by using Windows Registrator. So, I am going to open Windows Registrator by using the Windows Run command or by pressing the Windows Start button and type Registry Editor, which is R E G D E T. Press enter. The Windows Registrator, we are going we are going to create a new string value and give it the value to uh, some value data. So, we need to create a new key on a location of this hive so we can we, we can go to the uh, we are going to the hk local machine and in the hk local machine we are going to the software and expand the software in the expand the software we are going to the microsoft so in the microsoft we are going to expand the microsoft and i am going to the windows so scrolling is very taking this so long time so i am just simply type w to take the word w list so in the w list here we can see the windows and i am going to expand the windows in the ex windows we are going to expand the current version in the current version we are going to open i mean we are going to expand explorer that is in the e letter so this is the explorer so i am going to expand the explorer so we are going to locate the explorer i mean the explorer keys so create a new key to remove the shortcut errors so some people think this is a lot of time taking to go into the loc certain location or certain key so we can simply uh, go to the go to the location by using this address bar so when you uh, if you want to go to certain location if you know that we can just simply copy paste it in the address bar so uh, the location is available in the in the video below description you can copy paste it in the uh, windows registrator address bar and you can go to the explorer uh, by simply not going scrolling all over here so in the explorer we are going to locate shell icons you can see the shell icons key in here explorer if you don't see the shell icons key in the explorer we are going to need to simply create the key in the explorer so i am going to the explorer and right clicking on it select new and key and giving the value shell icons so press enter is the shell icons this is the shell icons key where we can remove the uh, remove the shortcut arrows by using simple uh, value so in the shell icons going to go to the right side and create a new string value so i'm going to right click on this select new new string value the value will be 29 that is the string value so sir, the 29 is actually connected to this shortcut arrows scenario uh, option so in the 29 string value we are going to create a new value for this string so i'm going to double click on the string value and i'm going to give you the value data that is going to erase i mean remove the shortcut arrow so just type this as as it is here you can see i given the value data that is win directory that is c drive in the windows drive session 32 shell 32.dll where the location of these shortcut arrows are located stored so i am going to the minus 50 that is not minus 50 it is a 50 value 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 is 50 the 50 is is going to erase i mean is going to disable the shortcut arrows so press ok and you can see the value is created for the string value so we are going, we are going to simply restart our laptop or we can simply sign out from account and log in again to see the effect so here you can see after restarting my pc you can see the desktop shortcut arrows are simply re removed from the uh, desktop so we are given the 50 value to remove these shortcut arrows so for then we can see what is the 50 value so what is the 50 value 50 value is the shell that to dll cell location of so i am going to right click on this folder and select properties in the properties you can see customize option in the customize option you can see folder icons change icon so in the change icon you can see this is the 
shell that true dot dll we this is the location we are pasted we are created added in the string value so here you can see the icons here you can see the all icons uh, with the four in the column four uh, one say four items in the one column so you can see i given the value 50 so the 50 means you can see this 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 these are the values i given this is the 50 51 52 these are the values so shell that two dot dll comma map my dash 50 is is going to replace the shortcut arrow to replace the shortcut arrow of this desktop icon so if we want to clearly see the look of your cell so just right click on the view and click on the large icons you can see that it is showing in the black circuit so this is not a problem in our pc this is the simply the value that is minus 50 is going to causing the black transparency effect so we can't see it in the large icons so we can see it in the medium medium icons so you can see there is no black transparent dark dark square in the a shortcut arrows so this with, with this the help of shell 32 icons we can change anything any modern value for the shortcut arrows i mean the shortcut arrows so you can see if i get this is the one two three four so we can give any value on the shell 32 dot dll comma dash 50 so we can give any value to represent this value as a shortcut arrow so what about how to restore the original original desktop shortcut arrows so using here you can see a lot of scrolling in the right side you can see the shortcut arrow is located in the here this is the 264 i just say figure it out the 264 is the value to give the perfect shortcut arrow for the icons so we can restore the shortcut arrows by using the two methods one is simply delete the key of shell icons or string value 29 or you can simply change the 50 value to 264 in the registrator so i am going to i am going to the industry registrator so in the windows registrator we can simply right click on the shell icons and delete it to power to delete the shell icon key to restore the arrow shortcut arrows to remove the this string value or we can do this double clicking on the 29 string value and give the value 264 264 we can give you can give any value you want depending on the proper depending on this shell 32 dot dll icons you can give but these are causes a simple distraction to the p uh, to the pc so we don't want to change anything in the icon so we can use 50 51 52 to disappear i mean to remove the shortcut arrows and we can give 264 value uh, on to restore the shortcut arrows so i'm going to giving the 264 value and press ok and now i'm when i sign out and sign in again i can see the shortcut arrows so you can see after changing the values i just uh, restore the original shortcut arrows so you can simply change the value to the corresponding letter value of this arrow or you can simply delete the shell icon or 29 string values to restore your desktop shortcut arrows